Anthropology, the science of humans. It is concerned with the study of human societies, their cultural practices and their way of life. Conservation, the protection, preservation or restoration of natural environments. In parts of East Africa, elephant migration routes crisscross through farmland. As well as destroying crops, elephants see them as additional food. This is important from a conservation perspective because weapons such as stones and firecrackers are used to scare the elephants away. Unfortunately, this has often led to injuries and even death. The situation is also distressing for the human population because it is small farmers who are affected. Often desperately poor and already economically and nutritionally vulnerable, they can lose their entire livelihood overnight from an elephant raid. The aim of the Elephants and Bees project is to reduce the damage to crops from migrating and foraging herds of elephants by using a natural deterrent, honeybees. A team working for the Save the Elephants organization has found through their research that elephants are frightened of African honeybees. This then led to the invention of bee fences around crop fields. This has meant that there have been fewer crop raids in the areas that have these fences, as the elephants will most likely avoid going near where the bees are. The work of the Elephants and Bees project has proved to be extremely beneficial to both humans and elephants, increasing income for the farmers and dramatically reducing the number of elephant raids, thereby protecting migrating elephants. The Elephants and Bees project is just one example of how, despite their apparent differences, the needs of humans and wildlife need not lead to conflict, just as it shows that anthropology and conservation can work harmoniously when they discover their common ground. I will.